Aquarius, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your 21 card love spread, love gypsy spread for the month of February 2017. We're going to see what's coming in for you guys. Just to let you know, <clears throat> what I've decided to do with this spread as well is just add some clarifiers to bits that I don't understand of the reading. The other thing that I do, Aquarius, is I use additional advice cards at the end of the reading. Just by the way, I'm using for your particular reading, as I've used with all the sides, the Gilded Tarot for the main 21 card, Gypsy Spread by Chiro Marchetti. I just love the uh, imagery on the cards. For your clarifiers, if I need them, we're using Tarot Made Easy deck by Barbara Moore. Love, love, love the imagery on these cards as well. Which is, I use cards because of imagery. I love imagery on cards. And your additional advice cards, we always use a Romance Angels card for additional advice, one of those, or two if needed. Sometimes this is the spiritual deck, the Psychic Tower of the Heart, John Holland, if we need it. I only use, uh, I always use this one, the Love uh, Romance deck, but these are optional if I feel that you need them. Healing with the Angels, potentially if I feel that you need this deck. And also, if I feel that you need advice from this, it's Getting Into the Vortex by Abraham Hicks. Okay, so let's uh, get on with your reading then, um, Aquarius. We're just going to meditate on Aquarius, okay? Just going to quiet my mind and meditate. Universe Spirit, show me what's coming in for Aquarius, Summon and Rising Signs, Aquarius, Summon and Rising Signs, Aquarius, Summon and Rising Signs for the month of February. 2017, showing what's coming in. What's coming in love-wise? We just want to see love. All I want to see is love and romance. What's going on in the love lives of Aquarius, summon and rising signs. Aquarius, summon and rising signs. Aquarius, summon and rising signs for the month of February 2017. I only want to see the love lives of Aquarius. All I want to see is Aquarius, summon and rising signs. Anybody else around them, show me the situation for their love lives. Show me their personal and mental, mental and emotional state around their love lives in February 2017. Show me their personal situation concerning love, their hopes and desires concerning love for Aquarius, Summon and Rising signs. What are their expectations concerning their love lives in the month of February 2017? Show me any hidden factors, anything that they're not aware of coming in for them. Might be in February, might be even in March. Show me any hidden factors, what be, might be coming in for Aquarius for love in February 2017. Show me the immediate future for their love lives in the month of uh, February 2017 for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs and the overall outcome for the love lives of Aquarius in February 2017, show me. Okay, so we've meditated on the cards, splitting the deck into three, collecting it back up Aquarius and what we're going to do we're just going to start laying the cards out. Try and put that down just a little bit there. Just make sure I'm doing it the right way. There we go. So all the cards have been laid. Let's have a look. Let's get straight into your reading, Aquarius. Mental and emotional. Wow, the world is incredible. So the world around your mental and emotional, um, the energy of your mental and emotional is the world. And the world is, you know, the cards, they're so multifaceted. On the one hand, you know, the world can mean I've reached a conclusion. The world is the last card in the Major Arcana. It's where we've been through 
a journey. It really is. You start off with the fool, depending on how you read. I usually start off with the fool being the first card, and I then go through to the world. Because the fool is the naive side of the of the tarot. It's where we don't know anything. Is where we're just starting out in life on whatever journey that is. It might be starting out in a relationship with the fool. It might be that you are so naive and careless because you don't know any better with the fool card. And then the fool goes through all of this journey through all the majors, you know, um, magician, uh, high priestess, empress, emperor, hierophant, you know, um, lover's chariot, strength, hermit, wheel of fortune, you know, uh, justice, hand man. I know I'm, I'm just showing off a bit about it. <laughs> I like memorising all of the cards. You know. Um, card number 13 I always seem to get stuck on. It's not death. Death is 15, I'm sure. Is it? Can't remember. Anyway. <laughs> it goes for all of these cards. And we know that world is, is the last in the major arcana. So this is where it's finally the fool has reached the epitome, the top of the mountain. And it sees everything sees everything and then it knows that it's got to come back down again after that mountain so once it's reached the top it knows that it's reached its pinnacle and the world is about reaching the pinnacle for some of you guys mentally and emotionally it might be the energies are around a soulmate world means where you've met the pinnacle you've met the best you've met the thing that cannot be rivaled it depends on what this card shows up as but this is the energies the world for some of you guys, it might be, well, I've learned everything that I need to learn in a particular space, a particular relationship, and now it's time just to shut the door on that because, you know, enough's enough and I'm done with it and all the rest of it. The world's a beautiful card. It's about achievement. You've really accomplished something of greatness. Now, be careful with tarot because world is not like, you know, this is about great wealth, yes, great achievement, yes, great love, yes, soulmate, twin flame, energies, definitely, a lot of cards, world, uh, strength, um, justice. These are all soulmate energies. They really, really are. But also, you've got to be careful with tarot because the world card can mean that you've been on, um, you've had an argument with someone and maybe they didn't see your point of view and they got the better of you one day. But the world card the next day could show up and say, well, actually you got the better of them because they finally had to give in to what you said. So sometimes it's small things, small achievements, but nevertheless it's an achievement. So the energies might be around an achievement. World represents things that come full circle, okay? So it's things that finally come to a natural conclusion. You'll be amazed at how many of these cards interrelate. Justice and the world are very similar in terms of the completion uh, ideology of the cards. Let's have a look at what's going on, though. Your mental and emotional state around that world. Wow, Knight of Cups. Some of you guys, well, yeah, the world is that you have achieved. Mentally and emotionally, um, Aquarius, there is an achievement here. The, the energies are saying that maybe some of you guys in February have met somebody who might be a soulmate or who might feel is a soulmate here because the energies are around the world. You have achieved something of magnitude. And that's why mentally and emotionally you feel the Knight of Cups. Now, this might be a Pisces person that's playing on your mind. Maybe mentally and emotionally you're thinking about a particular person that you want to offer love. You want to be offered love by or you're thinking that you want to offer love. The love, the Knight of Cups is either where we're being offered love or where we are doing the offering. But nevertheless, the Knight of Cups is a card about demonstrating how one feels. Showing how one feels. So, you know, don't be too kind of like with the tarot. The tarot is life, remember. It's reflective of everyday life. It's not reflective of a movie, all right? Knights in movies come rushing in and they save the day and we live happily ever after. Knights in tarot in real life, they're not like that. Sometimes this Knight of Cups shows up if you're working in a particular place and you've got a man or a woman around you and they fancy you and they come over to you and they're showing you their interest. You know, they're showing you that they're interested. So really, the Knight of Cups is all about a show of interest. Because the Knight of Cups, you've got to be careful. This can be a very whimsical energy. This can be somebody who, uh, you know, one moment is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Being quite uh, demonstrative in a very emotional way. But in the other hand, it might be that they look somewhere else. So the Knight of Cups here, mentally and emotionally, um, it is the feeling of being offered love. 
It is the wanting to offer love, or I don't really like to use the word love, but wanting to demonstrate or show that you're interested. It's a matter of showing interest with the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups can also show proposal. So mainly for some of you guys, you've got your mind set on a proposal or making a proposal to another individual because the world card has said that you've come to the end of a cycle. So for some of you guys, if you are in relationships, you're with a partner, you might have reached the end of a phase that says, you know, we've been through a period of being just, a, you know, a couple that are living together or just in a boyfriend-girlfriend or boyfriend-boyfriend or girlfriend-girlfriend relationship. But now let's make it more official. Let's let's move on to the next stage, which is what the world is. What's the reason for the Knight of Cups mentally and emotionally? Oh, justice in the reverse. Why is justice in the reverse? Why is that coming up in the reverse? Why the hell is that coming up reversed? I told you that the world card and justice were about completion. Well, this card hasn't completed anything. When you get justice reversed, it means that you don't get your justice. Looks like you guys here have made up your mind then. This isn't about within a relationship. Um, for some of you. This will resonate with some of you. Some of you not, and I'm sorry if it doesn't. But to me, this is saying for some of you Aquarians here that, you know, this world card now changes as the general energy. And this says you've reached the end of a point. That end of the point is you've experienced. You've gone through a certain experience, I feel, with a particular person here, um, Aquarius. And it says to you, okay, I kind of got the lowdown on this now. I understand what's going on within this particular relationship now. You know, we've reached our pinnacle here. And that's why, mentally and emotionally, um, I feel that your mind is on. I mean, the Knight of Cups is not reversed, so it's not saying that somebody's not offering you something. When you get the Knight of Cups reversed, it's a broken promise, right? So this must be mentally and emotionally, you're going to want to kind of give your love to somebody else. Because it's based on the Justice card. Why are you offering love here? Well, Justice, it's either that your mind is on somebody who's coming to offer you love. And that's based on Justice in the reverse. You didn't get what you wanted from another individual here, so your mind might be on someone else. Or this is you who's wanting to go out and find love. Because the Knight of Cups is also a card that represents somebody who's going out and travelling and searching. So some of you guys, your mind and your mental and emotional uh, factors around love in February might be going out and searching for love. Because maybe with justice in the reverse, you haven't had your justice. You haven't had your rewards for all the effort then stuff that you've put into a relationship. And that factors through to the energies being the world. I'm done with this. Ending up a cycle. I'm not getting what I wanted. Justice is showing in the reverse here as the reason for this Knight of Cups. And if this had been upright, I would have said maybe some form of a marriage proposal or something. Everything's looking good and rosy. But it's not because this is in the reverse. For some of you guys, it might not be so serious. It might be that you're looking mentally and emotionally. You're very, very focused on having that proposal because justice is in the reverse. And it says, well, this person hasn't said anything yet. We've not had this thing where the relationship has become official. Justice really just represents the completion of a matter, where things come full circle now. This big decisions have been made, so justice in the reverse can often be, well, a decision has not been made, the jury's out on this. So it could be for some of you guys, you are focused. The energies are, it might be, you know, the energies are around achieving the world, achieving the ultimate thing. And that, mentally, that means mentally and emotionally, you might be very focused on receiving a proposal here with this Knight of Cups, because justice has not been served. You've been in a relationship for quite a while and you're like, what are you doing? Thought we were getting married, thought we were going to, you know, what's what's happening here? Why do we make the relationship more official? It is, you know, it is Valentine's after all. Propose to me, damn it. <laughs> that type of thing, Aquarius. Let's have a look what's going on in your personal situation. Hopefully this is going to open up the reading a bit more. Well, the Seven of Cups rules the reading. So there's a lot of fantasising going on here, a lot of dreams, a lot of illusions. You'll notice on the Gilded Tarot, there's seven cups here. There's nothing wrong with any one of them. The Rider Waite shows seven cups, six of them. They've all got some form of problem with the cup, you know. They're all tarnished, but there's one cup that's desirable. The one cup is the best. With all of these seven cups, they represent everything is good here. So a lot of this is like being in paradise. I feel the energies might be around a lot of fantasy, but also the Seven of Cups can mean that a lot of stuff is still up in the air. It's not a grounded energy. I'm not a particular fan of that Seven of Cups energy here. I really, I've never been a fan of this card particularly, because on one hand it can represent that doors are opening up to you, but on the other hand it can represent that you're still in the land of illusion because nothing has been really kind of solidified. Um, 
in the situation. Well, what's actually going on in the present situation here for you guys? Well, the Four of Cups. And this shows discontentment in what has been offered. So, and we can see what's going on in a way, because we can see justice in the reverse is the reason that you're wanting a proposal or you're going out and you're searching for love. Because I feel the energies are that, you know, everything is kind of up in the air for some of you guys regarding a relationship, Aquarius. And it's manifesting in terms of your present situation as discontentment with what's being offered here. We can see with the Four of Cups, a cup is being offered to this particular person, but they're not interested. The hands are down at the side. They're not going to take it. There's many reasons. I feel that Aquarius, somebody, and I feel it might be um, an, uh, a water sign person particular, pot potentially, I reckon maybe a partner is being very, very selective. And that's why the energies are that everything is up in the air. It could also be that this partner here is looking at other options as well. Seven of Cups means to look at other options. So the energies might be around looking at other options. Okay, because I don't feel that this is you. I don't feel that this is you. Because I feel that if this was you, you'd bite the hand off and you'd take it. So there's no reason for why you shouldn't take this cup. You're asking for it here. Because you've not you received your justice here. So therefore, this must be somebody else's energy. That you're the one that's saying, you know what, what's, what's going on? And this person is saying, you know, well, you know, let's not rush into anything, man. You know, the energies around the personal situation are choices that somebody has to make as well. Seven of Cups. A lot of water energy here. Knight of Cups, Four of Cups, Seven of Cups here. A lot of choices somebody's got to. So we know that this reading is pretty much in the realm of some form of... Um, it's not a grounded energy, it's more emotional energy, all right? So when you get lots of cups in a reading, it's more that the elements are around emotion than anything else. So I feel that it's somebody who is, you know, rejecting what you have to give, potentially, here. And what's the reason for that? Oh, it's a Queen of Wands in the reverse. Jeez, I hate reversals, I really do. Well, you know, Queen of Wands reverse is a difficult card at the best of times. Um, because upright, we know that this is somebody who is very ambitious. She's very strong. She's very beautiful. She uses her body as a, um, as a weapon a lot of the time. I wish she was in the upright because we could say that maybe there is somebody else here. A fire sign. And I feel that it is a fire sign female. Okay, but I feel, I feel that, you know, when we get queens in the reverse, these are not good people when they're in the reverse. And, uh, you know, when you get a queen of wands up, right, she knows how to use what she has. She's very savvy. But I feel that when you get queens in the reverse, they use what they have for really kind of unscrupulous means. So it's almost like I get the sense with this queen of wands in the reverse that this person that you're with, Aquarius, has been almost... Is it blindsided or brainwashed by this individual here who's showing in the reverse? This Queen of Wands in the reverse is not, you know, it shows somebody who's not uh, upright. She's confident. This is the one of the main traits with the Queen of Wands upright. Confidence. Uh, she's not afraid of anything, really. This is why she's a highly desirable character of the tarot. But when she's in the reverse... Um, Aquarius, she is more, um, she's more, I would say, very unscrupulous with her means of getting stuff. But she can also be, like any of the queens, a drama queen as well. This could easily be your energy, though. It doesn't have to be another person, because she is showing us a reversal. All right? And that shows really the, not unless this person can't see who this person is, because she's reversed. This person would have to deny what you have, uh, Aquarius. All right, uh, for this, and she's reversed. If they couldn't see what she was truly about, because upright, this type of female has it going on, and she draws people in through her very charisma and her very air. But in the reverse, she can become a little bit needy as well as a queen. She's not so confident, and she's not so you know. There is a lot of manipulation that goes on with queens. All the queens can be highly manipulative. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. Wands, pentacles, cups, swords, all of them can be highly manipulative. So there's a certain manipulation here. It might be that this person doesn't want what you have or what you want or, or what you're offering to them because maybe they're being manipulated by this individual here. 
or if this is your energy, maybe you're just coming across as a little bit too much of a, uh, you know, somebody who cannot uh, stand on their own two feet, maybe with this Queen of Wands in the reverse. I don't do a lot of reversals, but one thing I do know about reversals is they're usually the opposite of what they are upright. So if she's very confident, very appealing, very motivated, very self-assured as an upright card, then slightly with this Queen of Wands, there is a lack of confidence somewhere along the line. And it might be that this person here is rejecting the relationship because we can see that you want a proposal because justice has not been served. This person hasn't, you know, said, you know, we're in a thing together long term, you know, we're, we've got a, you know, the energies are around achieving the world here in terms of love, Aquarius. And therefore mentally your focus is on uh, offering someone something, saying let's get married or let's do something uh, to celebrate our love or whatever it is. Because justice, you know, there's been no plans. If it's just a simple thing of dates, there's been no plans made here and you want to see what the hell's going on here. But the energy around the personal life. Uh, uh, situation shows choices here this can be options that this person has because underneath these options this person doesn't want what you've got to give and that's because of a queen of wands in the reverse and this could be somebody else maybe a fire sign as I said an Aries Leo she's usually an Aries I read her as an Aries some people Leo Aries Leo possibly Sagittarius person could be highly manipulative for manipulativeness sake so this person may have been manipulated by this individual here if this is your energy, and you can still read as a Queen of Wands energy, to me this says that you are, um, possibly this person is seeing you as too high maintenance as an individual, potentially. Maybe the energies are that they're looking at other options, potentially, here. What's your hopes and desires? Well, your hopes are surrounded by the Ten of Swords. So we know the energies are about failure, betrayal, feeling let down feeling disappointed, endings of relationships, ten of swords, um, feeling like the victim, all right, feeling worthless, feeling lack of value with that ten of swords. But what are your actual hopes? Because we can see there's a negative, any, negative energy surrounding your hopes here. Well, the fool. How do we hope for a fool? Well, it's funny because we mentioned the world and we were talking about the fall before that. And the fall is an opportunity. Um, the fall represents to go back to zero, to go back to, you know, square one, if you like. So it might be that with the fall cards, your hopes are to rectify something here. Go back to zero. Rectify mistakes that may have been made. Because you wouldn't hope for a fall. The only way that you're going to hope for a fall is to see if it's a new opportunity that's coming to you. Because the fall can mean I've made mistakes. All right? That fall can mean I wish to begin again. So I feel that your hopes are to begin again, maybe within this relationship. Because your energies are around fear and failure within this relationship, um, Aquarius. This is what the energies are around your hopes. So you've got a zero here is what your hopes are, but it's crowned by a 10, which is the ending of a cycle. So the crowning energies around your hopes are that, you know, this is over. Ten of Swords usually means it's over. Failure to launch, you know. The nails are already within the coffin. But your hopes are, well, maybe we can start again, the fall. Maybe we can begin again. Maybe we can get the fun back into the relationship, the spirit, the energy, the excitement. And what's that based on? Well, the Empress, these are all reversed, shit. Why are they all coming out? Are these all reversed? No, they're not. They're meant to be reversed, jeez. The Empress in the reverse, and that makes sense because it's a failing relationship. When you get the Empress in the reverse, it's a doomed relationship. It's a relationship that is not fertile, it's barren. It's empty. There's no harvest or abundance with this relationship when it's in the reverse. So your hopes are to start again. Because you realise that this relationship is actually failing. It is not fruitful, it's not prosperous, it's not burgeoning, it's not growing. When you get Empress in the reverse, it's about stagnation. So you realise that this relationship for some of you guys has come to a stagnant uh, a stagnation. It's experienced a period of stagnation, a lack of growth with the Empress in the reverse here. Alright? I don't think you want to leave it, I think you want to begin again. 
You want to inject the fun, which is what the fall is. The fall is all about having fun. It's about youthful exuberance. So your hopes will be to inject some fun with the fall card. To experience the liveliness of the relationship that you may have had at first. Because this relationship is failing. Empress in the reverse. It's not growing. Empresses in the reverse are a lack of growth. Stagnation within relationship. It's got nowhere to go. And you want it to go somewhere. You see here, the root issue here in your hopes, the reason for this card here is because there is stagnation and it's feeding through to the energies being, oh well, I reckon this might be over. Failure, nail in the coffin. So therefore your hopes are to inject something of liveliness, start again, new beginnings, full card. But I don't feel it's to move out of a relationship, I feel it's to get it re-energised. What are your expectations though around this in the month of February 2017, Aquarius? Well, the expectations are around a water sign. And I did say I felt it might be a water sign person. Four of Cups energy is here. Knight of Cups energy is here. Seven of Cups energy is here. So there's a person showing up here. And the expectations, well, the energies are around a King of Cups energy. This represents a very kind individual, a very loving individual, a very emotionally supportive individual. All right. When you get a King of Cups, this is the type of dude Every woman, every man wants. Dude or dudess. <laughs> every man and every woman wants, right? So they want someone who is, um, you know, um, loving and sweet and empathic. And what's the word? An em a natural empath, you know. Has a lot of empathy. Um, has a lot of kindness about them, you know. The energies of your expectations are around that. So it might be that you're expecting this person to be like that, to be understanding of you, especially if the energy within your um, within your um, personal situation, because it's based on that Queen of Wands in the reverse. Either this person doesn't want something you've got. Maybe they're being manipulated by another individual here. As I've said, it could be a fire sign. Or maybe this is you. And showing this energy here. Now the, the fire sign for me in the reverse. Means that there is a lack of confidence. With this queen of wands energy. And that the fire all becomes consumed within themselves. So there is the almost the a sense of vanity. With a queen of wands in the reverse. And there is a sense when. You know I feel that when we become quite high maintenance as people. We don't have the confidence to let somebody else grow. Or to let somebody else be. Um. Or to let somebody else feel good about who they are. It's all turned in on us and what we expect and what we want. So, you know, if it's a case of that there is, I don't know, something about the way that you're running things, something about the way that you are um, with a particular individual, if it is a water sign individual, then this person will be kind of calling you out for it because nobody kind of wants... Um, a self-entitled, an entitled princess. And it might be that they don't want somebody who feels entitled. Queen of Wands in the reverse for me is somebody who's quite entitled. She's already bad enough in the upright because she's very self-centred. But in the reverse, I feel that she could become more so. So if this is your energy, it's something to do with this person that doesn't want what you have and doesn't want to offer you a proposal, it could be because they find you to be quite self-centred, potentially. I'm not saying that you are Aquarius, but, you know, you might be showing signs of this, especially if you've got any fire in your chart at all, you know. Especially if you're, a, you know, a, I read her as an Aries, some people read her as a Leo. So I suppose, if, you know, whether you're an Aries or a Leo moon, or an Aries or a Leo rising, you know, you might be, you know, you might show this side of yourself off. Or you might exhibit it emotionally, emotional blackmail, that type of thing, or uh, a little bit too um, full of oneself and too expectant. And maybe that's why, you know, for some of you guys, it might be that your hopes, well, the energies are around the Ten of Swords, and that's why your hopes are to begin again, inject some fun. Because maybe for some of you guys, a relationship has just become a little bit too intense, too serious around something here. Your expectations are around a King of Cups here. Maybe that somebody will be empathic towards you, sympathetic towards you, that they won't want to, you know, they'll see that this relationship has the potential to grow. And what's your actual expectations, though? 
Ah, oh, so you're expecting the tower. Some of you guys might be expecting the ending of a relationship because that's the tower energy. So therefore, the energies around that king of cups in terms of expectations, the energies are this person probably isn't the same much. Because as a result of that energy, what we're finding is, is that your expectations are the tower. So this person, the energies around this, is this person's not saying much, all right? And this is why you've got justice, I feel, in the reverse. That's the, you know, the deal has not been sealed in terms of this relationship, you know? You've not had um, what you want come to fruition, all right? This is why this is justice, and you want it. You want to be offered something, a proposal, because it's not being done justice. And you, the energies are around the world, you know. I, you know, well, I want to achieve this this time, this year. I want it. I absolutely want it, you know, because you haven't done it. Justice in the reverse. I haven't had what I'm meant to have. I deserve this. Why haven't I got it? And this person's like, well, I don't, I don't want to take it from you. I don't, want, I don't want to offer you a proposal or, you know, I don't want to accept what you've got to give because this isn't you. This is, you want this. But this shows somebody who doesn't want a proposal and they don't want to accept something here. They want to accept love. And that's because the energies are around the Seven of Cups. Maybe they're looking at other choices here because the root issue for them not accepting something from you is a Queen of Wands in the reverse. This is either somebody who's manipulating them, I feel, or this is you showing your worst side off um, as an individual, potentially Aquarius. Right? Your hopes are surrounded. The energies surrounding your hopes are not good. They're negative. Ten of Swords. The energies are, shit, this is over. Now in the coffin, it's fucked. What you're hoping for? Well, maybe if we inject more fun, more happiness, more, uh, you know, um, excitement into the relationship. If we go back to square one, we'll be able to sort through because the root issue is this relationship's not growing. It's reached a point of stagnation. Around your expectations, there's a person showing up, but I feel that this person is holding their cards close to their chest, and that's what's putting you on edge about this in February, because what you're expecting is the tower. They're suddenly going to come out with something to you, and it should be a negative card that shows here, because if you're expecting the tower and this person's not saying much, and they're the King of Cups is renowned, it's a nice person, but that King of Cups is renowned as being a real quiet person. This King of Cups here doesn't say anything really doesn't. This King of Cups will keep something as close to his chest as he possibly, he or she possibly can. They won't open up. They'll watch, but they won't do anything. All right? They really won't do anything. Okay? And that's why your expectations are the tower. You're expecting this person just to come out with something, surprise you. Could be good, because it could be depends what this is so it might actually be that yeah this person's keeping their cards close to their chest you're expecting the tower why am i reading this negatively i'm sorry could be that you know if this is a good card here like a three of cups three of cups is a celebration card or a two of cups a commitment card a pledge could be you're expecting this person to say whoo there you are surprise ring or surprise whatever it is why do you expect the tower though aquarius Ah, I was right. Oh my God, I was right. Woohoo, two of cups. This is not a bad thing. You're expecting someone to surprise you in February. I was right at first. This person, yes. The energies are they're keeping their cards close to their chest. Nice person though, but they're keeping their cards close to their chest. And what you're expecting is a surprise. And that's because of the two of cups energy. Pledge, proposal. You're in sync with this person. You believe that this person is your soulmate. Doesn't matter what type of shit you're going through here. This person's trying to give you a sign. Something needs to change, Aquarius. But I don't know whether you're listening. Because this person's not responding here. This person, you're the person that's holding the cup out, right? To the king of cups here. And this person's not responding because it could be your attitude of that queen of wands in the reverse. Or this is somebody else who's highly manipulative. All right, somebody that's, you know, Queen of Wands is worse than Queen of Wands in the upright because she becomes a real bitch, all right, as an external individual. But if this is you, this is a loss of some form of, you know, this is high maintenance shit with you, I feel. This is you expecting something here. Uh, a, a certain type of, um, what's the word? 
entitled princess type of energy I feel with this Queen of Wands. And this person doesn't want that. Your hopes are based on fear. Ten of Swords. The energies around your hopes are based on fear. Ten of Swords here. And therefore your hopes are, well, maybe we should just have some fun, inject some life into this relationship, begin again. Because the problem is the relationship has reached stagnation. There's a, you know, something's not moving here, uh, Aquarius. And it's worrying you. Because the energies around your expectations are, well, I've got a nice person in my life. He's really, he or she is really, really lovely. They're empathic, they're supportive, they're sympathetic, they understand me, they're kind. You know, they're the perfect emotional person for me. But they keep their cards close to their chest. And therefore, what I'm expecting is a big surprise. Because this person is my soulmate. What are you not seeing, though, in terms of love, Aquarius, in February 2017? Let's have a look. What's the energies? Well, it's not great. The Seven of Wands is the energy. And the Seven of Wands means fuck off. <laughs> Or keep out. That's what the Seven of Wands is. The energies are around a very kind of resistant energy. This is the problem with Tarot, in a way. Because in one way, with the Seven of Wands, we could probably say, well, it's called defence. But this is what you don't know. This is not you. This is something outside of yourself that you do not know. It's a hidden factor. So therefore, this is this King of Cups. Somebody's very resistant here with the Seven of Wands, I feel. All right, because the hands, the ones, the six ones here, one, two, three, four, five, six, are the hands. So they're the hands that are saying, give it to me. I want it. And that one wand that the person holds out is no. It says no, you're not coming in. No. So the energies are around no, basically. Let's see what you're not seeing, though. I could be wrong. Let's see. Maybe the energies are that this person does want to defend the relationship. Seven of Wands also means I defend and I protect. So, let's see what the energy is and see what backs what up. Well, I feel that this is somebody who is... It's difficult. Again, this fucks me over when it does this in a way. Because the Nine of Wands either means that you persevere or it can mean that I'm tired. What you're not seeing, though, is that somebody is tired here. But we're going to see. We won't get the truth until we see what that is based on. Yeah. They're tired. Because it's based on the ideology of the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles can be, well, I'm still trying to keep everything in the air. You can see where the um, differences, where the different meanings in the cards come from. One positive, one negative. Can be, it's always in the upright. Positive is with the Nine of Wands, I'm persevering. Because with the Two of Pentacles, I'm still trying to keep things up in the air. But I would say this person's trying to work out what to do with that Two of Pentacles. So therefore, I feel that this person is a little bit resistant here. What you're not seeing is this person's... The energies are around somebody who's being resistant. And that's because they are tired. You're not seeing that they're absolutely knackered here. Really tired. And I feel it's because of your demands somewhere along here. You're going to agree with me. I'll probably get loads of grief for this reading. But if this is you in the reverse, I feel. All right? And... That's your energy, that's the reason for this in the present. And your mental and emotional is that you want to be offered love, Knight of Cups. Because the Justice card is the reason, in the reverse, I've not had it. I've not had you tell me this, or do this, or do that. Alright? And that's because in the present, somebody is not listening to you with that Four of Cups. You're showing them something, but they're not taking it. And that's because either they're being manipulated, I feel, by another individual, or this is something to do with how you are as an individual. So it could be what you're not seeing is this person's really tired. They've kind of got to a point where they're like, oh man, can I carry on? And that's why the energies are, they're very resistant. Because it's based on the notion of they've been weighing things up with that Two of Pentacles energy. However, let's see what's going to go on in the immediate future. It might all change. Well, it's... Uh, Energies are the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is an energy around the immediate future. It says that there are things that still need to be revealed and spoken about. There is still clarity that needs to be sought around this situation. There might be still a time of stasis within this situation because the High Priestess also means to avoid or it means stasis or it means something's not moving. It's a passive energy. Sometimes you get this card and somebody is very nonchalant about something or they're avoiding it or they're ignoring it or nothing's really going on. And what's the actual immediate future showing for you and this individual? 
Well, the Ace of Swords, and that's a difficult card because it can't. I'm not saying it's severance, but I'm saying that there should be some form of breaking of the bell. Communication can be coming in around this situation with the Ace of Swords. There is the need to cut through an illusion when you get the Ace of Swords. So clarity should be coming to you, some form of mental clarity. If the energies are that something needs to be revealed with the High Priestess, then the immediate future says with the Ace of Swords, you'll get this. And what's the reason for that Ace of Swords? Because of the sun. There is a need for transparency here, a need for renewal of something here, but also a need for clarity with the sun card. And the sun card is optimistic, but it's not always optimistic. Trust me, the sun can burn. It really can. You get the eight of swords and the sun together. The eight of swords is saying that somebody feels frustrated or hemmed in. And why is that? Because of the sun. The sun burns. It hurts. It's uncomfortable. It's too hot. So there is the need for clarity here. Ace of Swords. Clarity is coming to you guys, and that's because of the sun. Something's being made, I feel, very, very apparent here. And what's the overall outcome? Page of Swords is the overall outcome, and this says communication often when you get the Page of Swords. It's a communication card. But it's also a card where somebody has needed to strike as well with that Page of Swords energy. I want to see what the actual overall outcome is well it's the five of pentacles in the reverse when you get the five of pentacles in the reverse the five of pentacles upright represents usually um financial instability when you get it in the reverse it's actually talking about emotional and spiritual instability in the relationship all right so i feel the energies are around standing up for the truth of the page of swords energy it's speaking the truth because that's what the page of swords is the page of swords is young naive but he's like any child who doesn't like the colour of your hair, or like any child that doesn't like your makeup, or like any child that doesn't like your shoes, it will tell you about it. So it's a need to be honest. Honesty is showing up as the overall outcome. And that's because of the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles as the overall outcome says that you and this person are possibly not aligned for some of you. And I know it's probably not what you want to hear each Valentine's, but you know, the world still turns, whether it's Valentine's or not. And I feel that, you know, if you're in a perfectly good relationship with someone, then ignore the reading. Seriously, please just ignore it. Because at the end of the day, there's no need to, you know, I get a lot of people coming to me and saying, if they don't like the readings, oh, why have you given us this reading as if I'm to blame? My mind's completely clear when I'm doing a reading. All right, completely clear. It has to be as a tarot reader. You've got no choice. All right. So you've got to go in as a tarot reader and be completely clear on what you're doing. Just completely, you know, it's like... Mind's got to be empty, 100%, just completely nothing, blank canvas. Because what you want to do is have spirit imprint through the cards, the story, onto that blank canvas. And what it's saying here, in overall, is that you and somebody are not aligned with this Five of Pentacles in the reverse. You're not aligned. Some people would read the Five of Pentacles in the reverse as somebody's coming back to you. All right? But I feel that this isn't somebody coming back. I feel that this is real kind of spiritual and emotional in the reverse. Um, defunctness. It's real severance spiritually and emotionally. I feel it's a recognition of that. And what's the reason for the Five of Pentacles in the reverse? Because of the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups represents to leave things behind. It represents to acknowledge that something doesn't befit you anymore emotionally and you're looking in another direction. You're paying attention to your intuition. The moon is the intuition and this person is leaving behind his emotions at the doorstep and he's looking finally at what he truly feels. What is your intuition telling you? Because something's not right here, Aquarius, with a particular person. All right, it's not. And this is your mental clarity here because you're showing up as the Ace of Swords. Swords of Libra, Aquarius... Gemini, all right? We've seen all the signs here, really, um, within this reading, all right? For me, other people might read Queen of Wands in the reverse, as, you know, I don't always read reversals at all. I really don't, but I just go with what I feel with Tarot, especially to do with reversals. You know, Queen of Wands is to step into your own power. For me, in the reverse, especially if it's centering on you, there's a certain lack of powerlessness here and a need to have people adhere to you based on, you know, rather than based on the value that you can bring to something, it's more about, well, look at me, look at what I bring as an individual. Am I not enough in terms of who I am? For me, there is a certain entitledness to the Queen of Wands when she's in the reverse. She shows off the very worst traits of herself, all queens do. 
Queen of Cups in the reverse is far too emotional. She's a drama queen. She stomps her feet. She is not very, um, you know, she's not a calm character when she's in the reverse. She's very highly strung as an individual emotionally wise. Queen of Pentacles is very, very shallow concerning her money, concerning her, you know, how she appears, her household, her clothing, her possessions. It's all me, me, me. Queen of Swords is a malicious little bitch when she's in the reverse. Really, really nasty. Really nasty. I mean, she's bad enough sometimes when she's in the upright because she lacks any type of emotion. She's very detached. But when in the downright, when in the reverse, emotionally wise, she's no good. She can be so, so cruel. Gossipy, all the rest of it in the reverse. And it's the same for the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is energetic and she's sprightly and she's full of life and she's very self-assured and she's very confident. But for me, the Queen of Wands in the verse is almost like you expect other people to satisfy or to... Um, it's almost like you're expecting a clown, you know, to satisfy you, to, you know, make up for whatever it is that your misgivings are within the relationship. It's in feeling that it's a sense of, you know, I'm expecting somebody to give to me because I don't know how to do it myself. And I'm not saying that's for you, Aquarius, but if this is your energy, then that could be... I don't see any signs of anything else. I see a Queen of Wands in the reverse, and it might be, you know, this person, whoever it is that you're with or seeing or whatever, has, you know, their eye has been caught by this type of individual. I feel if it's an external individual, it's possibly a fire sign person, doesn't have to be, but this person is, again, quite self-entitled, and maybe this person likes the type, you know, bitchy type of individual. Some people do. Or this person is, you know, um, manipulative, which the Queen of Wands can be in the reverse as well. All queens can be manipulative. In the reverse, I really can't. When she's upright, she uses her body as currency. All right, she knows she's got it going on. All right, and she can use that even more so. I don't mean as a prostitute or anything, but you know what I mean. She'll wear the tight. She's big breasted. She'll wear the tightest top to show off her her wear. So you know, this person might be tempted. Temptation might also be a factor in here. But one thing I feel about this reading is for some of you guys, you don't seem to be on the same page as somebody here, and I feel there is a recognition of this. By the end of February 2017, Aquarius. Let's get um, some advice. I thought that you need healing from the angels, which we're going to use as an advice card. The romance angels as well. Okay, so let's see what the angels, romance angels, have to say for the month then. Aquarius, universe spirit. What is the advice that you have for Aquarius in the month of February 2017? What is the advice? Oh, one just fell down. Let's have a look. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. There we go. Make the effort. And that kind of makes sense with this reading. So let's have a look at what make the effort is trying to say. So it's saying that you receive this card... Because some action steps on your part are necessary in order for your prayers about your love life to be answered. The angels have opened the doors for you and now it's time for you to walk through them. The first thing that comes to mind with respect to taking action is a good starting place for you. When you ask for spiritual help, you always receive it. Often this help comes in the form of intuitive guidance which consists of repetitive feelings and thoughts. You get the sense that you should do this or that. You receive this card as a nudge to actually take that action. You'll then receive the next piece of the puzzle, meaning another intuitive message about what to do. If you like, you can ask the angels to give you the motivation, courage, time and energy to take these steps. Know that each one brings you closer upon the pathway to great love. Okay, so it's an interesting card. Make the effort. Great love is uh, worth uh, taking, you know, it says the steps you're guiding to take. So some of you guys, it might be needing to work on a relationship here because it does seem like something is, you know, we've got five of pentacles in the reverse here. And to me, I'm reading that as, you know, there is a sense of a lack of spiritual. And you realise this, and that's because of the eight of cups. You're paying attention now. This isn't about walking away. This is about paying attention. It's not to what your emotional desires are, but it's also to do with, you know, what makes the relationship stronger in a very spiritual sense because everything in terms of relationships you need a very strong spiritual foundation going forwards where you have a shared connection with an individual and if that's not the case because i can see somebody here i feel is not feeling the same as you in a certain way shape or form so it's about working on that we're going to get a healing from the angels 
card to see what this is going to say um, about your love lives in February 2017. Universe Spirit, show me. What is the... Oh, this is the wrong card. What am I doing? Here we go. We need the healing of the angels. Angels, what is the other piece of advice that you need to give to Aquarius for the month of February 2017? What is the other piece of advice? What is the advice, the other piece of advice that you need to give to Aquarius in terms of their love lives in the month of February 2017, show me. Surrender and release, and it makes sense, surrender and release, so look, you've got to let go, and you've got to release, and you've got to stop, I feel, holding on as tightly as you are, because I'm sensing this. For me, this Queen of Wands in the reverse, I also feel that this could mean, I don't know, something to do with uh, a lack of passion as well within the relationship. She's a very passionate card when she's in the upright. Um, you know, this is an unreliable card as well when this shows up here. Um, you know, this is a card that suggests promises are not being kept. I'm looking in my reversal book, by the way, just to give me some uh, additional meanings to this card. All right. But this says, you know, this is irresponsible because when she's upright, she's very, very responsible as well. She can cope with many, many things. When she's in the reverse, I feel that it is the inability to uh, trust in one's own confidence to carry something through. All right. So it might be that this person, this isn't you. It might be that this person can't accept what you have because they feel that they are going to, they're not going to be able to kind of fulfill the brief. They're not going to be able to give you what you want with this Queen of Wands in the reverse. And that's why it's feeding through to the Seven of Cups because maybe this is a philandra. Maybe this is somebody who, um, you know, wants other options they want to look at other options they want to look at other people they're given to temptation here so this queen of wands in the reverse can also mean well maybe just maybe you know they're unreliable they can't keep a promise and maybe they're just being honest here in the present they don't and this is why you know you're hoping with the fool injecting a bit of fun because you know that the energies around this relationship they're not reliable ten of swords something's on its way out you feel Something's failing with the Ten of Swords, and that's because it's rooted in the Empress in the reverse. The relationship seems to have come to a point of stagnation here, Aquarius. But I can't also rule out, because it shows a figure here, and she's in the reverse, that potentially this is something to do with either how you're being, or maybe even somebody else, especially as there is temptation here, and especially if somebody's looking at other options. We're going to get one more card. Uh, we'll go to John Holland. Psychic Tower of the Heart, Aquarius, what advice is there for you? I think the surrender and release is telling you just to let go. All right, stop holding on as tightly and see what happens. You can't control what's going to happen. and You can't control the person into being how you want them to be, Aquarius. Universe Spirit, show me. What is the advice that you have for Aquarius? What is the advice? What is the advice that you have for Aquarius in the month of... February 2017. Well, it's interesting. We had a card flip out and it flips right out. It's believe and succeed. And we're going to quickly read what that is. Um, let's see if we can find this. Um, it must be in the other area. They can be pretty hard to find some of these let's see if it's here okay we'll try and find it yeah it's pretty difficult to um, find the meat here we go so faith is powerful and can bring about amazing results it's important at this time to believe in yourself and in your aspirations regarding love Think and act as if all that you desire is inevitable. Your confidence will send a signal to the universe that you are ready to have that perfect relationship with a spouse, partner, parent, sibling, child or friend. The energies of success are around you. Use them to achieve your dreams. Okay, a lighthouse shines its light as a beacon to passing ships. 
to help them navigate the surrounding waters. At this time, you can be a beacon to others. By acting confidently and being victorious, you can inspire your loved ones to reach out for what they desire. Recognise your power to affect people in positive ways. Congratulate yourself for this ability and honour that same ability in others. Okay, So really, confidence, achievement, inspiration, recognition with this card here. I feel it's saying that you need to make the effort, okay? But make the effort more with yourself here, okay? If somebody's acting up here in February because they don't believe that they can give you what you want, maybe this person's a philandry. At least remember this Queen of Wands can be that they are highly unreliable. Queen of Wands upright is a highly reliable individual. This is unreliable here. But also she's someone who is very kind of uh, entitled and thinks that she deserves to have all the limelight and all of this and all of that. Maybe this is somebody. So maybe you, there's something about your own confidence you need to also look at as well in terms of who you are as a person. You need to surrender and release. Stop trying to control the outcomes of a situation concerning your love lives. Guys, in the month, if you, this resonates with you, concerning your love lives in the month of February 2017, Aquarius. And finally, believe and succeed. So believe in yourself, believe that you have the confidence to go out there and actually find the right person for you if this isn't working out. If there is a chance that it can work out, I'm not saying you need to change yourself, but I feel that it comes from you to work on who you are. Okay, so maybe, you know, if this is your part of your energy in the reverse, this is something you need to work on potentially. Uh, Queen of Wands to me is too self-reliant in a way. So it's all about being too self-reliant on somebody else. All right, so some of you guys might be being too self-reliant on somebody else because I feel that this is somebody who doesn't want what you have rather than you want something here, you can see it. This is somebody who doesn't want to give it to you. They don't want to take it from you because it might be that this is based on you being too self-reliant on them. So working on confidence can change mountains. Showing someone that they're not the be-all and end-all of your world can really change a lot of stuff going forward in a relationship. Very, very interesting reading. But if this person's purely a philanderer, or they simply aren't ready to commit properly, then just tell them to jog on and work on it yourself because you'll get your, your soulmate at some point, the love of your life at some point, but nobody's worth, you know, working too hard for at the end of the day. Everything's got to be in sync in relationships. Make the effort, but if it's not working, surrender and release and believe and succeed in yourself. That is your reading, Aquarius, for the month of February 2017, I would like to say. Thanks ever so much, and that's your love reading, sorry, okay? I'd like to say, whether you're in a single or a uh, single or in a couple, have a great Valentine's, and I will speak to you guys again in March. Take care.